Uh, recently, my wife Betty and I have been faced with a serious and complex family situation that requires our attention. As parents, we have and will always put the needs of our children first. With that as our compass, we have made a decision for our family, which will require an all-hands-on-deck type approach. As this is a private issue involving our children, that is all I want to say on the matter, and I appreciate your respect of our privacy. For this reason, I have come to the difficult decision to withdraw from the 2019 Salt Lake City Mayor's Race. In making this decision, I weighed three things. My responsibility to my family, something I have fought to legally have for most of my personal and professional life, my duty to the people of Salt Lake City and to the office I hold, and my desire to be a candidate for mayor. There is no question in my mind that my commitment to my family and my role as the mayor of this great city must be my top priorities over being a candidate. Over the next nine months, Salt Lake City will undergo tremendous change as many of the programs and policies we have been fighting for the last three years will be realized and implemented. New city-sponsored bus service will begin helping bridge a gap between our east and west side communities, bringing increased equity and adding a critical component to our effort to help clear our air. We will be opening the new homeless resource centers this summer, a new service model to help those most in need in our community. We will be welcoming the world as Salt Lake City hosts the United Nations 68th Civil Society Conference. This is the largest international gathering Utah has seen since the Winter Games in 2002. It is also historic as it will be the first time it will be hosted on American soil. We will be launching new housing programs to ensure that Salt Lake City is a welcoming place to live for all people of all backgrounds and income levels. A new agreement between Salt Lake City and the school district regulating how law enforcement engages with students in our schools has just been put into place helping to further break down the school to prison pipeline. Major infrastructure projects have begun. The start of a multi-year plan to repair and replace our failing roads and infrastructure. We will move forward on our 100% clean energy plan, including updating the city's goal to be completed by 2030. And we will ensure that our lawsuit challenging the constitutionality of the state's takeover of our land use and taxing authority to build the inland port moves through the courts with my full attention. When I took office, I asked city staff to begin a journey with me, a journey to build a city for everyone. Together, we have created fundamental shifts that will make our city more accessible and equitable for decades to come. We have ensured that whoever takes this office next stands in a better position to further move our city toward resiliency and equal opportunity. As your mayor, I will spend my remaining time in office implementing the plans we have developed, as well as launching new initiatives around education and our justice courts. Salt Lake City deserves a candidate for mayor who is focused on the issues that matter and the policies that will change lives for the better. I fully intend to be a part of this debate. I will challenge those who seek this office to demonstrate their ability to prioritize the people most in need 
and to develop policies which will help all people achieve their potential. From housing, air quality, water, infrastructure, climate change, transportation, and jobs, to how all people should be welcome here. I want to know where they stand on these issues and the inland port. I want my mayor to be someone we can believe in and who will fight for us. Salt Lake City is unique, complex, and requires thoughtful attention from a hardworking leader. Someone who is willing to work side by side with the experts like those we are fortunate to have on this team. This is not the time for goodbye, but rather it is a time for me to say, every expert who has helped drive the change we've seen over the last three years, I wanna say thank you. Thank you for your hard work you've done and for all we will do together in the next nine months. I want to acknowledge those who have supported me through good times and tough times, particularly my family, my staff, and the cabinet members. I have always said my greatest accomplishment has been the team I have built. You are extraordinary leaders, and the city is fortunate to have you. Your strength, kindness, and understanding has helped our residents and your drive to do what is right has inspired me to always move forward. One of the most rewarding parts of my career has been the opportunity to mentor and serve with women. The advice I have often given them is to give your full self to what inspires you the most. My decision today is to live up to that advice and give my full self to my family and this job, both of which I love very much. Thank you. <sighs> I'll answer any questions you might have. Sure. You know, I, I, what I want is for this community to continue to support myself and my administration over the next nine months. We certainly have a lot of work to do, and with a couple new uh, initiatives that I want to get launched, it's very important that we stand united uh, on many fronts. And um, there's still real opportunity for us to even bring more equity to this community and um, to have community support around that would be meaningful to me. You know, we came in to create big shifts so there was more equity in opportunity. And I think if you look at how we've come at that from so many angles, whether it's delivering homeless resource centers so that people experiencing homelessness um, get better care and a quicker step forward. So, you know, we've delivered on reconfiguring homeless services and transportation, you know, we're starting our new transportation opportunities this year to help connect people to jobs and education and employment better. Um, housing, affordable housing also helps create equity and opportunity. And so when we talk about creating a city for everyone, we're not trying to get everyone to move here. We're trying to make sure everyone who lives here feels like they have the same opportunities as anyone else. And Accessibility is a big one. You know, it's, it's easy for those of us who can just walk around to get around and we, everything's working. Uh, it's very different for other people who maybe experience some sort of uh, impairment. So equity and opportunity.
That's what I would say. Mayor, is there one thing, you talked about what you're proud of, is there one thing that you're disappointed you weren't able to accomplish in your time in office? Well, I sure wish I could have stopped that dang port. <laughs> <laughs> so I have a little work to do there. Um, but if I can get um, a lens on the justice courts to make sure we don't have bias, uh, I think that will be meaningful work. And um, the education program that we've created uh, really helps fill gaps uh, in our community. I think if we can get that launched, that will be awesome as well. No, you know, this is long term. Uh, and, uh, you know, at the end of the day, um, this, this is where I wanted to end my political career, and I have had that opportunity, and I'm very grateful to the community for this. Um, but I think for me, it's really, after this, it's about being a mother to my kids, and that will be the work that I'll be doing for a little while. How did you break the news to your staff? That's got to be a hard one. Yeah, well, we were in the Martha Hughes Cannon room, so that helped. Um, <laughs> But it was hard this morning for me. I very emotional, you know. We've worked together. Um, it's been a very hard journey because we've worked so hard. You know, we came in and went right to work on these big issues that affect so many people trying to create the biggest shifts possible for equity, right? And, um, and, you know, I think we've laid some foundational work that the next mayor can build on and will really be a game changer, I believe, for this community for generations to come. So thank you to all of these amazing people standing with me and behind you uh, for all the work that's been done in three years. It's been remarkable, and I think a lot of people wanted to see us maybe struggle or fail, and yet we never did, and um, I'm very grateful for the stamina of the team that I've built and the expertise. Um, I will also say that, you know, I've had the opportunity to work on a national level on climate change and air quality issues, and that would not have happened um, uh, unless uh, I had the kind of experts I have behind me. And I'm very grateful to Vicki Bennett and her team. I, they're just extraordinary uh, experts on these issues. And uh, they will continue to do this work even when I'm gone. And we are all very fortunate to have the teams we have today doing the work they're doing. Does anyone else have a question? Anybody? Okay, well, thank you everyone for your time. I appreciate it. Have a good day.